Hey guys, this is Leah with Julia Designs and your Market Center Tech Coordinator for Keller Williams Ballantyne. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make an open house sign-in sheet, link that to a QR code, and print it out for your open house to capture leads straight to command. So here's an example of what we'll be setting up today. All right, this is a brand new feature in KW Command with the new KW websites that have launched. So to walk you through this, the first thing that we'll do is we'll pull open our website. And if you're not sure what your KW website is, you can go to command to look that up. So I'm in agent.kw.com and you can select the consumer icon on the left hand side. Okay, so if you do want to look up your website address, if you already know your website, great, you can just navigate right to it. Or if you want to look it up in the consumer icon on the back end, you'll see it has your first and last name, typically .kw.com. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. All right, so in a new tab, I'm pulling up my website. And if you're still working on finding your website address, feel free to pause the video and follow along. You can rewind it. I know that how, that's how I learned the best, so feel free. And the first thing I'm going to do is look up a property. So you're going to look up the property that you're doing an open house for. So again, you're pulling up your website so that you capture the lead when they sign in, but we're going to look up the open house uh, address of the property you're doing an open house for. So even if it's not your listing, we're going to look that up on your website here. So you can type in the property address. All right, in this example, I'll just pick a random house that's close by. Okay, so you can do this for any property on your website. We pulled up your website and you can see here that I clicked on the property and this is the property details page. So this is where if I scroll down and I see all the info coming over from the MLS. So make sure you're on this page where you can see all the property photos and the property details. Okay, and to turn this into an open house sign in sheet, I'm just going to do a couple clicks here. So very cool new feature on the very top URL bar. Go ahead and click on the far of the URL until your, your cursor starts blinking. And we're going to put forward slash open house. Okay, so forward slash the one above the, uh, the one under the question mark. And then just the words open house without a space. And if you click enter, you'll see that it starts loading and it turns the format of this page into an open house sign in sheet. So you can see if you scroll down, it has a basic property information and they can go ahead and sign in their information, click the check boxes, and then their contact information goes directly to your command database. All right? So now the next question is how do I turn this into a QR code that they can scan upon entering my open house? Okay. It's actually fairly simple. You can do one of two things. If you want to leverage that out and don't want to worry about creating the QR code, simply take this link right here and copy it. So you can click on it to copy. So right click to copy, paste it in an email and send it to support at scottleroymarketing.com and ask them to create it into a QR code for you. It typically takes them about 15 minutes and they'll reply to you with that QR code. I'm also going to show you how you can create it yourself in Canva if you prefer and you want to know it's free and super easy. <clears throat> okay, so again, if you want to send that to Scott Laurie Marketing, you want to just send this entire URL in an email to support at scottlauriemarketing.com. If instead you want to create that your own QR code and an open house sign in sheet that you can then print out in either frame and put in your open house or just have it lying on the island you can go to canva.com. So canva.com. And if you're not logged in automatically, feel free to pause the video so you can log in. If you have onboarded with KW in the last few years, you should automatically have a Canva account under your KW email. If not, you can create a, a new one, a new account from canva.com. It is free. And once you're in Canva, we'll click on create design on the top right. And I'm simply going to search for a flyer. So I'm trying to bring up a blank flyer size piece of paper. 
I would just select the top one. All right, it takes, it takes a second to load, and once it does, you'll see a blank piece of paper that we can now add the QR code to. So it's just a couple clicks in Canva to add that QR code. And it's with the apps option on the left-hand side. So if yours loaded faster than mine, on the left-hand side here, it should load apps for you. Just hang tight. Probably do it over here, actually. Okay. So since I already did it here, on the left-hand side, you'll see that it says apps. And from that app section, okay, I had already searched QR code, but you can see you can simply, simply type in QR code in the search bar above. And it'll pull up all the apps that you're able to link to command, link to um, Canva rather. And I want to select that top white option, the white and black option. That one is free. So if you select that option, you can then paste the URL, that open house sign-in sheet URL. So I'll right click to paste it and I'll show you again where I got it. If my computer doesn't explode before then. <laughs> All right, so just so you know where I got that URL from, that is right on the KW, you should still have this tab up, the KW icons on it. You can scroll down like confirm, they're able to log in here, or not log in, sign in rather. And this is what would put their contact info right in your command database. So this is the URL I'm copying. I do need to click it so it highlights it. I can right click to copy. And then again, I switch back to the Canva tab. Okay, so that'll be like a bluish tab. And that's where I'm able to paste in that URL and click generate code. Okay, so this is a new code it just added. All right, and if you want to add these text boxes, I'm just going to take them off so I can show you again how to do it. So if you want to add text boxes, again, for that QR code, right, we just went to the app section of Canva on the black toolbar on the left-hand side, and I searched for QR code to add text. It's a little further up the menu. It says text here. You can either add like a default text that you might have, or if you are feeling fancy and want to use one of these font combinations that they have, they're pretty fun, right? You could click to add that in, and you could change it. So let's say welcome. All right, I'm just double clicking to edit the font that it already has. So if I just wanted to go ahead, let's say, and change that font, I'm just taking this font over here where I can drag this over, right? And I can double click to edit it. You could also add your logo if you wanted to by clicking uploads on the left hand side to add your logo in right away or you can use colors. Uh, you can use colors or this, you, this bar up here if you want to change the font at all, right? And then you'll be able to click share on the top right. So the share button on the top right will allow you to download this so you can print it out for your open house. So you can download it as a PDF. I would recommend the PDF print option, right? So then it'll download it for you and you can print it out for your upcoming open house to again frame for your open house or just have that laying on the counter. If you have any questions as you're going through this, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at contact at juliadesigns.com or if you are a KW Ballantyne agent, you can of course book us anytime. It's free for you to meet with us at kwbresources.com and then click on I need tech help on the top right. Hope this helped and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.